As we're working with scientific notation, from time to time we'll come up with a number that looks sort of scientific-ish, but it's not quite perfect scientific notation. If that's the case, what we're going to have to do is put the number in front in correct scientific notation. And then what will be left will be a couple tens, and so we will use our exponent properties on the tens. In other words, when we see 523.6 times 10 to the negative 8th, that's scientific-ish. The problem is the decimal's in the wrong spot. So what we'll do is we'll focus just on the 523.6 and put it in scientific notation. The decimal should go right after the 5, so it's 5.236. And then we do a times 10 to represent the number of times the decimal moved twice. And it's a positive exponent because we're bigger than 10. It's a big number. Now, we still have this times 10 to the negative 8th at the end. That doesn't disappear. And then what we can do is use those exponent properties on the 10. We recall our exponent properties tell us if the bases match, we will add the exponents. Keep the 5.236 times 10, and then we'll add the exponents. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. This is the correct scientific notation form of our problem. Let's take a look at example 2. This one's also sort of scientific-ish, but again, the decimal point's in the wrong place. So we'll look at that front number and put it in scientific notation. The decimal should be after the first significant digit, giving us 3.2. Times 10, we move that decimal 1, 2, 3 places. And because our number was small, smaller than 1, it should be a negative exponent. Again, don't forget, we still have that times 10 to the 5th at the end. Because now what we'll do is we will use our exponent properties on the 10s. This gives us 3.2 times 10, adding the exponents, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 3.2 times 10 squared is the correct scientific notation form of our number. So if we end up with a number that's not quite in the correct scientific notation, we simply put the number in front in scientific notation, and then use exponent properties on the 10.